up, you guys? This is Rafa Miguel Guy Plays, and today we're tossing on our war paint when we get dressed to kill in preparation for the War Within. Okay, so whether or not you've been watching some of the other YouTubers, War Within prep has been one of the big topics due to an email that was sent to us by DE. They really stressed the fact that the operator was going to play a big role in the War Within, and to make sure that your operator looked and sounded the way you wanted them to. It was literally three of the five bullet points that they were allowed to hint to us. In fact, the first bullet point said, you probably want to customize your Warframe, while the second second bullet point said, you'll definitely want to customize your operator. The only other bullet point of note was that the War Within will auto unlock at Mastery Rank 5 if the second dream quest is complete. So clearly some shit is going down and you're gonna want to make sure that your operator is dressed to kill. So first and foremost, let's start with what you're wearing. Initially you got access to the Zaraman suit. Well, this one is a bit basic and does make you look like a Pokemon when you've got the hood up, I honestly kinda still really love it. Sleek and simple, it combines really well with several of the other suits, plus it's free. Now, the next few that you're gonna see are solely available in the market or through your operator customization menu. Most are available in bundles, so the easiest way to find them is to search them up by name in the market, especially if you're planning on buying whole sets. So kicking things off, we've got the Copra suit. Now this is the most ornate of the bunch with the most metallics and waistband customizations, which none of the other suits come with. This one is actually my favorite because it feels a bit more formal and fancy than the others. However, in all honesty, I do have to say that it does feel like the individual pieces, i.e. arms, leggings, hood, and etc are a bit harder to combine seamlessly with the other suits, as its general shape is a bit more structured than most. Just be careful of two things. Don't go overboard with the lining which dictates its metallic bits, and of course, tossing the hood on does kind of make you look like Slenderman. Next up is the Verita suit. This one features a lot of leather and also one of my biggest pet peeves, untintable metallics. You could have tied it to suit lining DE. Regardless, my favorite thing about this is the fact that it's actually pretty flexible. By swapping out the bodysuit for the Zaraman or the Manduka and leaving everything else intact, you can actually get some interesting combinations. And while tossing the hood up does kind of make you look like the Atarax, I think it goes well with the edgier feel of this one. Now our most recent addition to the roster is the Manduka suit. This definitely has a mage robe kind of feel to it. And while I am a big fan of it overall, I do have to say that the thighs make you look a little bit lumpy and the clothes hood makes you look like a cross between a clam and pyramid head. However, you you do have teddy bear feet, so everything is kind of forgiven. In all seriousness though, the bodysuit alone works well with a lot of different suits, and the hood, when turned down, looks nice and casual and cozy, kind of like a kikurumi. Alrighty, before I move on, I do have to mention there is an option to hit none on all of these pieces that actually gives you access to another base. While it does have a nice texture, it doesn't quite blend with the rest of the suit seamlessly as they all kind of float on top of it. However, do a bit of experimenting and see what works best for yourself. And with that said, let's get dressed. Now, there are a few more things to touch on before we finish up. First off, accessories and markings are 100% subjective, so feel free to browse the selections for yourself. Now as for hair, if you're having trouble selecting something that you like, don't forget to switch the hair part toggle back and forth, as sometimes it can completely change the feel of a hairstyle. In addition, if you are having issues with getting the exact hair color you want, and this goes even for some of the wilder hair looks, try using a more neutral version of your color for the base and using the highlights to refine the tone of your current shade. Now as for your face, there are two big things to be aware of. First off, your inner eye glow also dictates your operator's energy color and ties into the color of your sigil. And last, but definitely not least, is your second face. So if you haven't seen this option, I highly suggest you check it out. It allows you to blend two of the pre-selected faces together. Now for me, best practices are to select the face shape that you like the best with your primary face selector. Then use the secondary face to blend in expression or other facial features you like. Now before you 100% commit to any specific combo, I'd highly suggest taking it into a few missions and viewing their model in action while they're talking, as their emotive expressions can really break or seal the deal. Alrighty, so I hope that either helped or inspired you guys to really take a second look at your operator and give you some direction as to how to fine tune your look. War Within is fast approaching and you'd best believe that I'm going to be recording my run and I'd suggest recording yours too, if only for posterity. So whether you're prepping to perform in front of the camera or plan on giving that homemade video of yours for private viewing only, it's time to come correct because this time we're going commando. So thank you all for watching another episode of Just to Kill. If you haven't caught them, be sure to check out my previous episodes on the A10 treasures as well as my most recent quick draw on the Rock the Dark Dagger. Now don't forget to do all the things that I ask you to do at the end of every one of these, and as always, 
part of the fact that I just kind of made a sex tape joke about a kid. I mean, it's not like literal, and I mean, you are technically the kid, so if anything, it's your responsibility to make sure that your kid self isn't doing inappropriate things. You know, it, it was just a joke. Let's all calm down, okay? Alrighty, so this is gonna be the last glyph giveaway for the time being. Simply put, where you find rose gold is where you will find the last set of glyphs. Five in the description, five annotated in, and five in the comments. Hashtag stay rose gold.